Are we on? Hello, how are you guys? Are we on? <laughs> yes, we are thinking about the Filipino food. Hello! How are you all? I'm gonna take you on a walk through the camper to kind of give you an idea what what we live in we live in a right now we are living in a 37 foot travel trailer or camper whichever one you want to call it we live in it basically year round so gonna do a quick tour so for those of you who don't know what a camper is or a travel trailer it is a house sort of house on wheels the reason we live in a camper is I'm a private contractor, which requires us to travel around. I'm gonna take you through a walkthrough on our camper today. So enjoy the video. Okay, folks, this is our home on wheels. This is the Jayco J Flight 32 TSBH. We have owned it for about two months now and we are really enjoying this camper for as much room as what it has to offer. Now excuse the little bit of a mess that we have outside. I mean, when you're a traveling contractor, you've got lots of stuff that you've got to pack around, so just to kind of give you a little quick tour of our of our home. So to start, this model of camper has outdoor uh, outdoor storage compartments that go all the way through to the opposite side of the camper and also run up underneath the bed so you can access it from inside the camper from the master bedroom area. The camper has an out, outside awning that's electric. It rolls out in, in and out and has speakers. So if you wanna turn music on outside, you can do that. This camper also has a very large outdoor kitchen setup. has a small refrigerator that's electric. Then here is a slide out propane stove top. Fold that up and it's got two burners. Connection is up underneath on the back corner here. It has some covered space for storing kitchen stuff such as plates and bowls pots and pans and a drawer here all right and it all this one also came with an outdoor barbecue grill so we keep it stored up right now two slides on the back these are the bunks there's four bunks You've got two bunks on this side and two bunks on the other side. Then you come around here, you have your outdoor shower, water heater, and up above here is a cleaning system for your black tank. And I'll show you that a little bit later. But you put a water hose on this and you turn the faucet on and it turns on some spray nozzles inside your black tank to clean your black tank. This is your connection for just fresh water. This here is the hole from where your electrical line comes out to plug into power. And down here, this is where your black water and gray water come 
out at. So you pull these valves and you pull them straight out, which allows the water then to come down the tank and down through the hose. And then it dumps in at a, in a tank underground. So for those of you who've never been in an RV, that's what you do when you're wanting to get rid of, drain your tanks for your septic. Then this camper's got a main slide for the living room area. And it has got some really big windows. So we can get lots of sunlight. And then that's a window to the bedroom, main, main bedroom. This camper has got four stabilizer jacks underneath the trailer. So that way on those windy days, the trailer's not rocking around. And then in this compartment where you normally keep your propane tanks, I've got one of them down here because this is where we're, I've just got it set up. But you put your propane tanks in here and this is what you use for cooking on as well as run your refrigerator and your stove and your oven. Okay, now let's move to the inside of the camper. All right. And here's the inside of our abominable home. Hey, Birdie. Say hey, hi, hi, Harlan. A bondable. A bondable. I don't know. What a boundable. What you talking to? Our home. What you going to? Rewind. What you going to? Hello, Birdie. Welcome to our home. Yeah, you going to, Daddy? Say hi, Harlan. Hi. Welcome to our home. Welcome to our home. <laughs> okay, now we're inside our camper. And I am. So this is our home. We have an actual seven foot couch inside our camper. That was additional. Someone took out the original factory couch, which are very uncomfortable and installed a actual seven foot couch, which is very comfortable, which folds out into a bed then we have our little kitchen dinette area table with we have three chairs and the fourth chairs in the back we have our tv and then cabinets underneath the tv we have our kitchen sink our stove Yeah. Cabinets and drawers underneath the sink. Our fuse box underneath the stove. Our refrigerator with Harlan's little artworks that he likes. He likes clocks. So this is the master bedroom. Got some nice closets, one on each side. Actually, I guess it'd be like two on each side. I have two windows on either side as well. One's a fire escape. So if you need to escape, <gasps> there's an exit. We have our plants. make the air feel a little fresher in here. There's Birdie's bed. She has herself a nice little comfy little bed. And this is the back bedroom area. We got ourselves a keyboard for Christmas. 
that we are learning how to play. Is that bunny, Daddy? Is that bunny? Oh? Yes. Okay. Are you ready to take your nap? Uh, I Okay, well finish your milk. Okay. So you have an upper bunk here and then down below here there would be a mattress here but we took that out and we are using it for storage for Harlan's toys, keyboard, Harlan's books. And then we've got lots of closet space here in the back. And then Joanna and I, this is kind of our office space area here. This table will fold down. And underneath it, we got some more shelf space. And Birdie didn't want to be in the video. And then you have some drawers here on either side. And so, that finishes up back here in the back bedroom area. And Harlan's got lots of little artworks taped up everywhere. Yeah, right now we will move to the CR. This is our itty bitty CR or restroom, bathroom, however you all call it. And this is the shower bathtub. And it's got a skylight, so it helps brighten it up in here. We also have a little vent with a fan in it. All right, that concludes the tour of our camper. Hope you enjoyed it and kind of gives you an idea of what we live in. So we'll have to say goodbye for now and see you next time. Bye bye, see you next time.